there's some flap packing going on i am updating my office this is it looks <laughs> like a complete mess at the moment so i'm doing this backdrop which is when i do my live coaching i sit there and then this is the backdrop so this is my art wall this is by an irish artist called jules call and this is called la vie en rose and then this one is by another irish artist called um evelyn leonard or eve leonard and the name of this print <laughs> the name of this print is Sersha, you can see it's there in the corner, Sersha, and it's gorgeous, I love it so much. This is actually a me original, and this one too, so I think it looks really good, I'm really happy with it. And then this is going to sit against the wall here. What do you think? Are you happy with it? Yes? <laughs> He's satisfied with it. So now it's up and this is what my new coaching backdrop is going to look like. I'm really excited about it. I can't do anything about this cable right now. I'll have to figure out something to do with it. But I think it looks really good and I have like, all of the, the books and stuff that I like and the artwork. So all I gotta do now is pull the desk back this way a little bit so that I am a little bit closer to there and I'm gonna have to move my whiteboard I think we'll see it's coming on so I have the shelf that was over there I've moved it over here and I've just got some stuff on it this is uh, my microphone and stuff that I use for recording audio uh, I've got like a little chair and a cafe table just in front of the window. So I'm going to push my desk back a little bit. But I'm really happy with that because when you see me, if you join any of my coaching programs or my free coaching, like this is what you're going to see in the background. I love it. So this is now what the office looks like. I have my desk here my whiteboard and this is the backdrop for my coaching videos oh, i really love it i really really love it we are going to go now to the supermarket so uh, i'll go take you with me show you what we buy we are going away for a few days next week monday tuesday wednesday finally we're able to go away somewhere from this week the restrictions have been lifted for interregional travel which means that we can leave our region we can leave our department and we can go to the beach so it's going to be raining it's going to be not particularly warm but i don't care it's the beach i can't wait i can't wait to go and just to have a few days away um i'll take you with me of course but right now i'm gonna go get ready to go to the supermarket All right, couldn't film much in there, unfortunately, but this is what we got. This is cooked ham. Looks really nice, actually. This is um, cooked ham and um, parma ham, prosciutto crudo. We got a roast chicken at half price. Love that. If you go at the right time of day, they do a 50% discount to get rid of them at the end of the day. So we got there just as the guy with the yellow stickers was arriving and managed to grab one. Fabio got himself some of these arancini. They're like this one's with tomato and mozzarella, and this one is with uh, ragu and uh, peas. And it's basically just rice. We got uh, what are they called? <laughs> Mushrooms. 
grated cheese so some of this stuff is for the kids um so grated cheese my galettes these are my um really my new favorite thing these easy um to make uh, vegetable cakes they're like there's courgette peas and carrots with a little bit of basil in it and these ones and then with those ones there's a bit of carrot and um squash so they're really good they're really really handy avocado olives mango for the kid bacon receipt that we don't eat so kid wanted some potato cakes so we got her some of those they, these are just potato cakes with uh, cream and cheese bacon pieces then this is shepherd's pie oh no i won't eat this because there's potato in it but it's basically potatoes and a beef ragu and then the rest is well carbs belonging to the kid she has wraps and then these are fabios these are they're called taralli and they're just little pieces of they're like breadsticks but they're round and then yeah very non-edible shower head and then i got almond flour so got, i needed to stock up on almond flour so got oh this is really awkward three packs of almond flour and then that's the last one in there i got three and then i got gelatin this is just normal gelatin nothing special in it and baking powder and that's it today we leave to go away for a few days to the beach <laughs> and the weather it's been like this the whole time actually this to, to be flooding in this region where we are in this department um is there flooding in, in the one we're going to no it looks not no, no. okay so it's going to take us about four and a half hours to get there yeah, yeah. yeah. so we're going to start with some coffee so i actually prepared in advance the keto brownies so this is one that's not cut up and this is one that's cut up it's this one from super fat and all i did was make it last night and it's really easy to make it's just three eggs and 170 grams of butter and you just put it in the brownie tin and put it into the oven and the reason that i wanted to bring it with me is because i know that breakfast will, is going to be a hard one because there's going to be lots of pastries and stuff right mm. so i figure if i have something with me keto. yeah that i can have this so, so i'll have like whatever kind of more keto stuff they have and then have this afterwards just just in case i'm tempted Cannot believe how dark it is in here so we've got a goodie bag let me show you what's in it there's a mix here for both of us so there's these tarali they're like um round bread sticks if i get it to focus that's what they look like fennel seeds they're not for me obviously so i have my brownie the pieces and the entire piece there that didn't fit in the other one We've got some prosciutto crudo, I've got some dark chocolate, oh, this this is actually a really nice one, this is a new one, with, um, it's dark, at 70% with uh, Himalayan salt, now obviously because it's got less, um, like it's 36 grams of carbs for the entire 100 grams, so you really have to go easy with this in comparison to the 90, 90%. I've got a bottle of water, I've got my electrolytes and these are sugar-free um 
sweets that uh, Fabio loves. Their um, mountain mint is what's called. They're really nice. They're very mild. So I've also just made myself an Americano with a little bit of coconut milk in it. Fabio's going to have a short one. And then we're going to hit the road in the rain for a nice wet trip to the south. We have finally arrived. So this is our hotel room. Let me show you. Our stuff is everywhere, so yeah. You'll have to just ignore that fact. So this is the room. Got a nice coffee station and a fridge over there. I started to unpack already. Um, got a really nice big bed. And this lovely painting on the wall. So in there is the bathroom. This is the wardrobe, you close that over it. And yeah, it's a nice big wardrobe actually. Lots of space. This is our view. The terrace outside, we've got a nice covered terrace. Let me see if I can open the window. It's really, really windy at the moment. So we've got this really nice terrace. Cover terrace and this one will go right in front of us. Pity about the weather, but what can you do? So this is the bathroom. God, I love the glass blocks. I really in, in my forever home I'm gonna have glass blocks. Nice big shower, big sink, mirror, me, <laughs> and that's the toilet in there. Everybody knows what toilet looks like. Don't think I need to show you. So yeah, nice big bathroom. Oh, do you hear the birds? You happy? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the birds. It's so lovely. A friend, hi, baby. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> so the place we're in is called Carmag, Camarg, Camarg, and it's where the famous salt plains are. So there's a lot of salt that comes from this region. Another thing they're famous for is right behind me and I can't wait to show you because they are gorgeous. So this region is famous for its white horses. Oh, they are beautiful. And these are in the hotel we're staying at. So the hotel is just there and these are the stables.
so today was supposed to be thunderstorms all day yeah um like yesterday yesterday when we arrived the weather was so bad like the wi-fi wasn't working and i was trying to do a group coaching call last night and it was just horrendous i'm afraid i'm gonna step on a shell here and cut myself but um but yeah it's actually a gorgeous day and the guy at the hotel told us that it's like a microclimate here so the weather can be really bad one day and really nice the next day even if it's forecast for bad right he said it's, yeah. it changes quickly yeah so you can see that i mean it's a little bit cloudy but it's um still really warm the waves are up a little bit because of the storms yesterday but it's gorgeous welcome to the mediterranean So we're in town, just about to get out of the car and go and try and find somewhere to eat. Everything seems to be closed. <laughs> we can only get takeaway because the terraces, outside spaces are still closed in France for another week. So we really have no idea what we're going to eat, right? <laughs> no. It's like, there's not, not a lot of choice. Um, at lunchtime, I had to eat quiche because it was that, or sandwich, or pizza. Mm. And a quiche, of course, is mostly egg, cheese, bacon, with a little bit of pastry. But there was literally nothing else because everything is closed. Mm. So, fingers crossed, we get something. I'm not particularly hopeful. No, <laughs> not me either, but let's see. Let's see. We're, we've checked out the hotel and we're on our way home. Well, we're not on our way home yet. 
because we've come to the beach for one more walk before we head back inland. Are you happy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you happy that we're heading back inland? Or would you rather be like me and live on the beach? <laughs> yeah, no, I like the the closeness of the sea. Yeah. I like it very much. I miss it. taken off my mask. Oh, so nice. But it is so cold. Just like that, it's time to go home. Yeah. It's been a beautiful few days. Even if the weather was crap the first day, just to get away somewhere else, somewhere that's not home, yeah. has been a treat, an absolute treat. Um, and now that in Switzerland from Monday, Everything is kind of reopening, right? Inside uh, restaurants, inside Monday. with limited capacity. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think. But from Monday in France, the terraces are opening. Fifty percent. That's right. And I forgot to film what we got for dinner last night. Uh, <laughs> we were so <laughs> hungry, but we managed to find a place that did pretty decent burgers. But the French fries, you were saying that. They use MSG in the, in the yeah, French fries. They, they, they actually kept coming back up. Yeah, so you, you can tell, you can you can tell almost immediately, or I can when I've eaten MSG by accident, I can tell almost immediately. Makes me feel really unwell, extreme thirst, like devil's thirst. That, that no matter how much water you drink, you can't quench it. So we're gonna get on the road now, it's 10 a.m. Um, it's going to take us about four and a half hours to get home. Well, probably five because we'll stop. We're going to stop for lunch at the same place that we stopped on the way down. So I'm going to get another one of those chicken salads um, and a nice big coffee from Starbucks. But it was beautiful. I'll leave all the details of the hotel where we stayed at down in the description um, in case you're interested, in case you're thinking of coming to the South of France, um, coming to this region where they collect the salt, it's famous for the salt and the white horses. Um, so yeah, uh, let's head home. We're home now and it, it feels like six months ago that we were away. <laughs> it was too short and the weather's just been so crap that it's just it's really affecting. So look, I need to show you what it's like here today. So we got back Yesterday, I need to show you what it's like. You can't even see the mountains. It's raining. It's so depressing. That's <laughs> my insect now. Yeah, we have no mosquitoes at the moment, but wasps try and get in and they terrify me. Um, so, I know everybody's feeling quite similar it's the only way to describe it is feeling flat like completely like not depressed so not sad or you know not not full of um 
de debilitating, dark feeling, sadness, anything like that, but just flat, just completely flat, completely lacking in an energy. So I've decided that I'm going to do a webinar about why we're feeling like this and what we can do. Um, and just, just so people know they're not alone. So make sure you head over to my website. I'll leave the link down below and sign up for my newsletter so that you get notified when I do these things. Um, and I have... <laughs> a man that just drove by, had a guy asleep in the back of it and his face was mashed up against the window. That was random. So just to recap, just in case you've missed the last few videos. So I've got a brand new YouTube channel called The Emotional Eating Coach where I'm going to be doing all of my work based stuff. So it'd be really great if you could go and subscribe to that as well. There's no videos there yet. I'm getting to it, I promise. Um, and yeah, so go sign up for my newsletter so that you get notification when I'm doing these webinars. I really wanna separate this channel from other my other channel and my other work. Um, because I think you guys are more interested in me anyway than <laughs> necessarily the work I'm doing. So that's what I've done. So all the information is down in the description below. And that's it. Next week is going to be an update on my surgery recovery. Um, and that's going to be pretty big. So you, you really need to um, subscribe and hit the little bell so that it notifies you when I upload a video. Um, because you're going to want to tune in for this one. This is a juicy one. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the scenery and not very much food on this one actually. Um, I forgot a lot of the time. So apologies for that. Um, as always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.